Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm number one in the world with the new log bait deck that I recently found. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so I'm in the first game here against uh, the, the goat. <laughs> Manual. Um, gonna go Ice Spear Golem Rail here. Okay, goats for bats and snowball. So I still get one hit. I'm gonna go for a Dark Goblin in the back here because he's not really doing anything. So I need to cycle because single elixir is when I can actually do stuff. Okay, he goes for split E-barbs for his play. Gonna go for a Mighty Miner here on the right side. Um. <laughs> okay, I guess this is his new, like, um, strategy now. Instead of, um, because he doesn't have Dark Prince in his deck, I guess he just goes for, uh, E-barbs graveyard for his play. No, he did that last time. Gonna go for the Goblin Barrel here and pop the ability to kill the Skeleton Army. I'm not gonna get as much damage as I should, because he did spend a bunch of Elixir. Gonna go for Dark Goblin here and try to get my Ice Spirit down in time for the Bats. Okay, I was like one second too short. So I didn't really get much damage when I feel like I kind of deserve to get some damage because he just spent this whole elixir bar in the first push, but it's alright, I guess. I can still beat this guy. Um, Just gonna go for a goblin barrel here. Should get a little bit of damage from this. He goes for a witch because he didn't have skeleton army, snowball, or arrows, so gonna get a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for a mighty miner on the witch and then pop the ability. I want to pop the ability because then it forces out another response to the Mighty Miner and I'll be up in Elixir. I'm going to pop the ability now. He doesn't have bats in cycle, so I don't have to worry about him putting the bats on it. Okay, he goes for E-Barbs. He's going to go for a cannon here. Actually, no, I can't because I don't have Mighty, so then if he goes Giant, I wouldn't have anything. I'm going to go Spear Goblins. And then I'm going to have to go for a Dark Goblin as well. I'm going to put it like right here. Okay, that one E-Barb is going to go to it, so I'm going to have to... Use, okay, he arrows. I'm gonna Ice Spirit here. And I'm gonna go for a Mighty Miner at the bridge and then go for. Okay, I was about to go Gombro, but I'm gonna go Cannon now. I'm gonna go for Spear Goblins on the bats. He's gonna go for Skeleton Army, so I'm gonna pop the ability and then go for a Goblin Bell right away because he has to respond to the left lane, but he doesn't have any Elixir, so he'll have to ignore at the right side and take some damage on the left as well. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go for Dark Goblin here. Um, I'm gonna go Ice Spirit. Okay, gonna go Spear Goblins. Gonna go for Mighty Miner here. Gonna go for Goblin Barrel and Prelog. Okay, Goblin Barrel and then Prelog. <laughs> what was that giant? <laughs> nice, okay. Gonna pop the ability here to kill the bats. Uh, Ice Spirit, okay. Gonna go for Dark Goblin here. Okay, gonna go for Spear Goblins. <laughs> Those arrows were terrible. <laughs> nice, okay. Um, let's see what he does here. Okay. <laughs> he put the E-Barb so far away from the Goblin Barrel. Nice. Alright, gonna go for an Ice Spirit here. Gonna go for a Dark Goblin Low. Gonna go for Spear Goblins at the bridge to pressure. Okay, he's not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> Those bats were so late. <laughs> what was that? He just put his bats like five seconds too late. <laughs> nice. Well played. What is he doing, man? He never knows what to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm against Framcedo here. Just gonna go for an Ice Spirit for split. Okay, he went to Fisherman on the right. I mean, on the left. Uh, after facing Manual, I lost my brain, so I'm saying the wrong sides. Okay, gonna go for Dark Goblin here on the Royal Hogs. Alright, gonna go for Mighty Miner here on the Mother Witch. Gonna go with Spear Goblins on the Fisherman. Okay, gonna go for... Okay, he went for a Zappy, so I'm just gonna go for an Ice Spirit on the two Zappies, and then the right one will defend itself from the... the tower will defend it. I go for Cannon here, and then I'm gonna go for Dark Goblin in the middle as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here, but it's alright, because I'm gonna go for a Mighty Miner at the bridge with my Dark Goblin, and he's gonna have a little bit of a hard time stopping this, because he has no Zappies in cycle, and if he mirrors his Zappies, then he won't be able to defend the Goblin Barrel. Nice, I pick up the Ghost. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Barrel here. This is gonna get a lot of damage. He can't afford arrows right away. Okay, nice. Gonna kill the Mirrored Ghost, maybe? Okay, I have to waste my Spear Goblins. I'm gonna go Spear Goblins here. Okay. Just gonna wait to get more Elixir, and then I'm just gonna probably Ice Spear at the bridge. I shouldn't be down any Elixir. I should be up, like, two Elixir because he arrows the second he hit three, and I had, like, one and a half or two Elixir when he finally hit three and arrows, so... I should be up like two elixir right now. I'm just gonna ice spirit at the bridge, see if he responds. He probably won't. Let's go giant skill at the back. I'm gonna go dark open in the back here. And then I'm not gonna mighty miner in front of it because he does have zappies in hand. You wanna 
cannon early against this deck and then go Mighty Miner low. If your Mighty Miner is too high, we'll just get pulled by the Fisherman or get stunned by the Zappy. I'm going to go Goblin Braille here because he doesn't have arrows in cycle and you want to pressure while defending. I'm going to go Mighty Miner once the Fisher locks onto the cannon so it won't pull my uh, Mighty Miner away. I'm going to go for Spear Goblin low to defend and then I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit here on the Giant Skeleton. Um, hopefully that doesn't hit my tower. Okay, that's going to hit my tower. Just going to go for a Rocket here on the Mirrored Royal Hogs. That's usually the threat. Took a little bit of damage on the right, like a thousand, but it's all right. I just need to play a bit more defense and it's going to be easy because I don't really need to get too much more damage. Okay, nice. I need two logs and a rocket to finish off the game. I'm going to go for an early cannon here. And then I'm going to go for a low mighty miner like I've been doing. Okay, he does a good fisherman. I'm going to go dark goblin on the right and then go spirit free goblins on the left. I'm going to go for a log here on the royal hogs. Go for an ice spirit. Then I'm going to go for a cannon here on the ghost. Alright, I just need two more logs, or one goblin hit. Okay, gonna go for a goblin barrel now. He doesn't have arrows in cycle, so that should get a hit. Okay, nice, yeah, that's game. Just gonna rocket here, that's gonna finish off, because rocket is fine on D1, GGs. This matchup is really, really bad, so... I'm really happy to win this. This matchup's actually so hard, because Mother Witch gets insane value, Giant Skelly's hard to kill, Zappies are annoying, Fisherman's annoying, Royal Hogs and Mirror are broken, so I'll take this. Let's go. I'm in the next game here against Hajime. He's probably playing Drill Rocket. That's what he's been playing like for the last few seasons. Gonna Dark Goblin here for the Fire Spirit. Gonna Mighty Miner the Bridge to predict the Bandit. Okay, nice. So this should do a little bit, maybe. He might log. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna do anything now. Just gonna go for a Goblin Barrel in the front here because he has the Fire Spirit push. Okay, nah, he saw it. Okay, that was well played by him. Gonna go Ice Spirit here on the Drill. Okay, he has true red, true blue, so uh, the drill hits my tower, unfortunately. So I'm not really going to be able to defend drill. I'm just going to go for a dark goblin here on the bomber. Then I'm going to mighty miner at the bridge. I'm just going to try it again. Oh, it's going to go in front. That was bad. Okay. Going to go for spear goblins at the bridge for the skeletons. Going to go for an ice spirit down low for the bandit. Okay, forced out the log again. That's good. My mighty miner is going to force out the bomber. And then I could go for a goblin barrel here on the left. He doesn't have fire spirit. He doesn't have log. That's like bandit skellies. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go for a cannon here on the bomber. I want the bomber to get a hit. And then I could go for like low spear goblins on the bandit if I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna need the spear goblins. Okay, spear gobs. Nice. He has to respond to the spear goblins again or else they're gonna get quite a bit of damage. Okay, I'm gonna go for a log on the first one here. And then go for an ice spirit. Okay. Only take one hit, so not too, too bad. This matchup's really hard because it's just rocket cycle versus rocket cycle, except his win condition is like stupidly hard to defend. Goblin drill shouldn't be this hard to defend, but it is what it is. Okay, just gonna go for a goblin brown on the left here. Actually, no, I'm gonna go mighty miner on the left because I want to get my three card cycle going. I'm gonna go for a cannon here on the bandit. I'm gonna go for a dark goblin up at the top to snipe the bomber before it gets targeted by my tower because I didn't want him to drill with that. Okay, that was a good inferno. I'm just gonna rock in my tower. I'm gonna go for Goblin Barrel. I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit. I'm gonna go for Spear Goblins. Okay, nice. I don't think I need to log. Just gonna Dark Goblin in the middle here. Okay, gonna go for a Goblin Barrel again. He doesn't have log in cycle. Oh, that bomber is gonna go back. You're joking. Oh, that was so lucky. I'm gonna go for a cannon here on the bandit. I'm gonna go Ice Spirit as well so the cannon doesn't die. I'm gonna go for Mighty at the bridge. I'm gonna log the first Goblin and then Spear Goblins. Alright. Gonna go for the ability to kill that and then go for a Dark Oven at the bridge because he does an interesting cycle. He has to band it. Okay, I was hoping he'd band it a little bit higher and I could get a bit of chip. Okay, one Dark Oven hit. Gonna go for Goblin Braille here. Okay, gonna go for Ice Spirit and then Spear Goblins at the bridge to apply pressure. I'm gonna Mighty and then I'm gonna log the first Goblin here and then go for Dark Oven and Ice Spirit on the drill. Okay, bad Dark Oven, but the Ice Spirit cleaned up for no damage, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for Goblin Barrel and Ability here. Okay, just with her log. Hopefully my Mighty can get like a small tap. All right, he goes for Drill. Just gonna go Spear Goblins on it. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna go Cannon, Log on the first one, Spear Goblins. I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit on the Bomber. I'm gonna go Mighty on this. Okay, I only took one Goblin hit. So we're not really looking great right now. I'm gonna go for the Ability. And then go for a Barrel. I wanna try to three card cycle him out. Okay, he goes for Rocket. Okay, gonna go Spear Goblins. 
Oh, you're joking. Everything's going wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go Goblin Braille here. Oh, wait, those Spear Gobs are going in. He doesn't have, um, Log and Cycle. Can I get a little bit of chip? Okay. I'm gonna go for Dark Goblin in the back here. And then I'm gonna go for Spear Goblins on the Bandit Cannon. And then I'm gonna go for Ice Spear at Log. Alright, I'm gonna go for Mighty Miner in the back here. I need to try to beat him with three card cycle. Mighty Miner in the back, and then I'm gonna try to stack Dark Goblins. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try to keep baiting his log and then overwhelm him with Dark Goblins or something. Gonna go Goblin Braille to bait up the log. Gonna go I mean Goblin Braille to bait up the log. Dark Goblin in the back behind it. Gonna go Spear Gobs. Gonna go for Goblin Braille and Rocket because he he's okay, he just got back to log. Gonna go for another Dark Goblin, gonna go Ice Spirit, and then I'm gonna go for another Goblin Barrel, and he doesn't have Log for anything. He has no Log in Cycle. I'm gonna go Spear Goblins. Okay, nice, nice. Wait! Oh, that took the whole tower! Let's go! That was so good. Nice. All it took was one big push with a bunch of Dark Gobs, and I actually meant ended up winning. Let's go. Alright, I'm against this guy. This guy plays with Mortar Bait and Cannon Cart. Just gonna go Dark Goblin in the back and Cannon on the Mortar. Unfortunately, I had Dark Goblin first, so I just kind of wasted three elixir right there, but it's all right. Okay, he goes for logs. That's perfect. I'm going to go Ice Spirit and then Goblin Barrel on the inside tile because he wasted his log, and usually he wants to guards on this now. And yeah, okay, nice. Nice. That was so good. I did that because usually they put their guards over there because they want to, they want to counter it for only one hit, so I put it on the opposite lane and I get a bunch of damage for it. Okay, he gets one, two guard hits, so fortunately he got the second one. I'm go for a Dark Goblin behind this because he's forced a Cannon Cart and it'll just end up killing the Cannon Cart. And then he has to respond to the Dark Goblin again because Cannon Cart doesn't reach it. Alright. He's probably just gonna. Okay, he went for Minion Horde. I'm gonna go with Spear Goblins and Ice Spirit here. I'm gonna go for Goblin Braille as well. He has to log, and then I'm gonna go Mighty Miner at the bridge here with this. He's gonna guards, but maybe I could Mighty Miner ability plus log and maybe I could get something going here. Okay, gonna ability and log here. Okay. Maybe I could get something out of this. Okay, no, nah, it's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna go for Spear Goblins on the Dark Goblin. The Spear Goblins will get a little bit of chip if he doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna get one hit there. Not bad. Up 800 damage right now. He doesn't have log in cycle, so if I go for Ice Spirit Goblin Barrel, he's forced to Fireball. So I could just get a plus one trade, or I can get the Ice Spirit damage for an even trade. Okay, goes for that, and then I'll go for this, so we're even right now. On that trade, at least we spent eight. Actually, I spent seven, he spent eight, so I got one extra. I'm just going to see what he wants to do here. Not going to Dark Goblin at the bridge. I could go for a Mighty in the back. Yeah, I'm going to Mighty in the back. Okay, that's good timing, actually. going to go with Spear Goblins here. I'm gonna go Dark Goblin on the left side. I'm gonna go for Goblin Barrel. Try to outcycle him. Okay. I'm gonna go for a Rocket here on the Minion Horde. Pop the ability so the Mighty defends the Cannon Car. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go for Spear Goblins to snipe the Dark Goblin. Then go for Ice Spear Goblin Barrel. Put the Goblin Barrel on the opposite side of the guards. Nice. Okay, he pre guards and uh, under on the opposite side. That's so much damage. Nice. Gonna go for a Dark Goblin in the middle here, just try to control the game. Gonna go for Cannon here, I'm not really worried about if he Cannon Cards. Might Fireball, so I'm gonna Spear Goblins right away. That reaction time was so fast. Gonna go Ice Spear Goblin Barrel here. Okay, goes for Log. Just gonna go for Dark Goblin in front of my King, and then I'm gonna go for a Log, and then I'm gonna go for Mighty Miner as well. Okay, I'm gonna Ice Spear to protect that. Alright, no, no point trying to protect it any further. Gonna Ability to kill the Dark Goblin. Gonna go for... Goblin Barrel on the side again. He doesn't have login cycle. Alright, he just gives up and goes for Fireball this time because he knows he can't uh, get it there or something. Gonna go for Spear Goblins at the bridge. Okay, goes for Cannon Cart. I'm gonna get ready for the Mortar. Gonna Dark Goblin on the side. Gonna go Ice Spirit as well and then go for Mighty Miner to protect it even more. Alright, he puts a cannon, I mean the Mortar in the middle, so I'm just gonna cannon in the middle. Then I'm gonna go Goblin Barrel and pre-log the guards. Nice, okay. Perfect. Okay, two more hits. Gonna go for. I'm just gonna wait and go for Dark Goblin, and then I'm gonna go Spear Goblin so my uh, Dark Goblin kills his Dark Goblin. He might go for a Mortar with this. Gonna go for Goblin Barrel here. Gonna go for Cannon over here on the Mortar. Gonna go for Ice Spear on the Cannon Cart. Gonna go for Mighty Miner so I can pop the ability and kill the Minion Horde. My Spear Goblin's on the Miner. Okay, gonna go for a Goblin Barrel here. 
He's gotten like no damage this game. Okay, yeah, he looks like he gives up. So I'm just gonna go Dark Elf and Log Ice Spirit and finish off the game. So if you guys are struggling on how to beat Mortar Bait, that should be perfect because I like kind of flawlessly beat him. Like I took no real damage really and made no mistakes. All right, I'm in a game here against Light. Just gonna go for a Log here. Okay, gonna go for Spear Goblins. He goes for a Mega Minion. Oh, wait, this is the Golem E-Drag guy. I remember him. I remember him. He faced Muhammad Light in the 20 win challenge like two weeks ago. I remember. Yeah, this is Golem E-Drag. I'm gonna go for Goblin Barrel here. Okay, in case he has NATO. I'm gonna go Ice Spirit here on the Baby Dragon. Alright, that's gonna get one hit, I think. Oh, no hits. Perfect. Alright, just gonna cycle my log here. I'm gonna cycle my Spear Goblins. Oh, that Lumberjack was so bad. Why would you do that? That's annoying, because I wouldn't have cycled my Spear Goblins like that if I knew it was going to lumber like that. That was so bad, because I would have just Mighty Minored into it, and I would have got uh, a free 4 Elixir. I'm going to go with Mighty Goblin here, because he has no Barb Barrel in hand, and Tornado is going to be a bit difficult because of the Cannon right there. Nice. Okay, he messed it up. I'm going to pop my ability last second to kill the Cannon quicker, and then get the Bomb damage on the tower as well. So, pretty nice damage there. So, already starting the game up 2200 damage, always what you want to see. Just gonna go for an Ice Spirit at the bridge, and I'm gonna go it like this, because he might... Okay, I thought he might go him in the back there, because he was mad. And then um, I would go Spear Goblins right behind the uh, Ice Spirit, and I would get even extra damage. I'm gonna go Spear Goblins here on the Baby Dragon. Okay, those were garbage. Yes, those Spear Goblins were terrible. I wanted the Baby Dragon to lock on the tower, and then the Spear Goblins would snipe it, but it didn't work out that way. Dark Goblin's gonna clean up the Mega Minion. I'm gonna go for... Okay, I'm gonna Mighty on the Lumberjack. I was gonna Mighty in front anyway, so that's kind of a bad Lumberjack. Gonna go for a uh, Goblin Barrel in a weird position, maybe try to get a little bit of damage, because he does have Bar Barrel. Okay. Oh, nice! The Cannon Cart survived. That's actually so good for me, because now it won't sit there and defend. I'm gonna wait and then log once at the bridge. I'm gonna cycle an Ice Spirit quickly so I can start killing with the Dark Goblin, because he's gonna go in the back. Yep, okay. Kinda Mighty Miner and Goblin Barrel in the front, because he doesn't have Bar Barrel in hand, and I wanna put him in the front so he doesn't tornado it to the King. No damage. I'm gonna rock it here for uh, the E-Dragon. This Mighty Miner will actually probably kill that. You no, know, Ice Spirit to keep it in place and then log it back to put it closer to the Mighty Miner. And the Mighty Miner actually killed the whole Golem. I'm gonna go Spear Goblins here and then I'm gonna rocket everything again. Okay, nice, I missed the Mega Minion, nice. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna Ice Spirit here. I'm gonna take some Mega Minion damage, but it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna cost me the game at all. Just Mighty Miner for the Cannon Cart and then I'm gonna go for a Dark Goblin on the side. I'm not going to pop the ability because I don't want to risk the cannon cart locking on the tower. And then I'm going to go Spear Goblins here on the Mega Minion. This deck is... The Spear Goblins in this deck are actually so nice. I feel like they apply a lot of pressure and they're really nice on defense with like the small air cards. Some of the air cards are pretty annoying for bait like Mega Minion and Baby Dragon. But Spear Goblins make them a bit n nicer to play against. Alright, I'm in the next game against this guy. I've actually never played against this guy before, so I'm just gonna start with an Ice Spirit and Barrel in the corner because I don't know what he has. Okay, he has Skelly's Log, Fire Spirit, so could be like half the decks in the game because every deck runs that combo. Um, Alright, gonna go for Mighty Miner here. Go for a Cannon on the Bomber. Gonna go for Log on the Drill. Gonna take no damage from that. It's always good to log the first Goblin um, so you take no damage and then your card will clean it up, whatever you have already there. Um... He doesn't have Log in hand. I'm not going to go for Goblin Barrel though, because he can just do the Fire Spirit trick. Um, okay. I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin here. Then I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit on the Bandit. I'm going to go for... Okay. I'm going to go Spear Goblins down low, and then I'm going to get my Mighty Miner ready. Okay. Nice. Okay, I took one Goblin hit. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Barrel on the right to force up the log, and then I'm gonna go with Dark Goblin behind the, might, the Mighty Miner because he doesn't have like a lot of like He has like five or something. Gonna Ice Spirit maybe predict the Skellies. He goes for Bomber. I'm gonna let that go. I don't want to overcommit. Like Log would be a little bit overcommit. I would have got a bit more damage, but I already got enough to be at the point where I don't really need to look for any more because it's just a Rocket Cycle game anyway. Okay. Just gonna wait. He might go in really aggressive because I'm up a lot of damage. If he doesn't do anything, though, I'm just gonna Spear Goblins. Could go for a Goblin Barrel as well, because he doesn't have Log and Cycle. He goes for Bandit, and he goes for Skellies. Oh wait, he finger-slipped his drill, he meant to put on the tower. Nice, it's so good. 
I don't think the drill would have really done any damage, but it's still good to waste the elixir. Okay. I'm gonna go for... I think I could go for an Ice Spirit with this, because maybe I could hit the Bomber something. Okay, nice. It's gonna freeze the Inferno. It's gonna cycle a Rocket here. That's perfect. So to finish off the game, I'm only gonna need two more Rockets, so I'm already in like a perfect position to win this. It's gonna cycle a Cannon in the middle early. Then I'm gonna go for a Goblin Braille right now, because he might do a Rocket. Okay, didn't Rocket, because he needs to log. Gonna Spear Goblin, so he's gonna Rocket now. I'm gonna log, yeah. That? No, I meant a Goblin Barrel. Oops, okay. <laughs> that was not the cannon I was looking for. I wanted to get Goblin Barrel to tower he's getting the log. Okay. In this matchup, you want to try to pressure when they have um like enough for Drill Rocket, because they're probably going to do it. Going to Mighty Miner here, and then going to Ice Spirit. Then we're going to go for a log and the Drill. Um, just going to go for a rock under the tower. I only need one more rocket to finish off the game. Just gonna cycle an early cannon in the middle because that's usually how you defend bandit bomber drill. Okay, gonna go for spear gobs down low, gonna go for ice spirit, gonna go for a log here. And then, yeah, it's gonna knock back the bomber. Yeah, and then I can just finish off the game with the rocket, so. That was a really nice win against drill cycle there. It was much better than versus Hajime, but versus Sky, I also kinda beat him in single elixir, whereas Hajime, he kinda controlled me in single elixir. He just played it much better than this guy, to be fair. All right, I'm against this guy. I know that this guy plays with Mighty Miner Log Bait, so he's gonna go off with a Goblin Braille here. Oh, okay, nice, he didn't have Log. I'm gonna go Spear Goblins here on the Fire Spirit. So, perfect start for me. He didn't even have Log in Cycle. I'm gonna go for an Ice Spirit or maybe predict a Princess. Okay, I thought he might Princess on the right bridge. Okay, he goes for that. I'm gonna Log in the front, hit two, and then go for Mighty Miner for the back one. So I'm only gonna take one goblin hit and i end up getting like a, a really nice trade he kind of did overcommit there but he did that because he's down damage and he knows he needs to try to make it come back gonna go for a dark goblin in the middle here we predict the skellies okay goes for that wait that's gonna keep walking <laughs> okay the cannon's gonna die as well I'm gonna go for a goblin barrel here he has to defend the dark goblin again i'm gonna go for an ice spirit with it okay this is gonna be a little bit annoying for me I'm gonna spear goblins on the right here just to apply a bit more pressure Nice, perfect. Okay, that's really, really good for me. Um, I'm just gonna hold my Dark Goblin because he might Princess the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna Dark Goblin in the middle. I'm gonna Mighty Miner, and then you go for a Goblin Barrel on the right to force out the log. This is so awkward. Wait, he tried to predict the um, Goblin Barrel on the left with the Mighty. So I'm gonna pop my ability. Nice, he wasted Skellies. Wait, he has only Fire Spirit for this, and after it jumps, he has nothing. And then to defend, I can just go Spirit Goblins. Okay, no, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm still gonna Spirit Goblins, actually. He's gonna log, and then I'll Dark Goblin. Okay, I'm gonna Dark Goblin of my own. And then if he Goblin Barrels, I can just log. And yeah, that's already gonna be game versus, uh, not a mirror matchup, because we have, like, three different cards each. I guess four, because I have Spear Gobs, Dark Gob, Ice Spirit. <laughs> um, that is three, I second guess myself. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna give up, so thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.